So hello guys, in this episode we, go we are going to see how we can uh, import the examples that we have for see what things we can do with the with this new ra runtime, okay? So what you need to do is uh, you need you must watch the last video I upload about how to import and export animations from Spine to Godot, okay? So you will need the stable version that uh, Esoteric Software gave us from Godot, okay? And you need to use this one. Then what we need to do is to move to the <coughs> sorry the block, and in the in the block we are going to have this Spine Godot uh, runtimes repository, okay? So what you need to do is just download it and you will have this uh, folder, okay? Spine runtimes. After this, what you need to do is extract this, unzip this, okay? And then we have the spine Godot, so we can enter and run it. This is usually what people will do. But if they do it that way, they I think they will have this problem, okay? That you will not have an uh, some resources that is needed to run uh, and you can try to fix the independencies I try and it didn't work okay so I don't advise you to do it that way okay because you will not able to see the examples at least from my point of view when I try to do it okay so what I advise you to do is to as I saw you open the stable version that is in the last video that I, I taught you how to download it and press import, okay? Then what we are going to do is to look for this spine runtime and we are going to enter to Godot and example, okay? And then here we are going to import the project, okay? When we open, import and edit, when we open now, Yes, now we have the Spamboy examples, all the examples that we have here, we can run it and you will feel amazed because as you can see, it's running in Godot very smoothly and there is a lot of cool, cool, very cool scenes that uh, with a lot of examples that we can see. As you can see, jumping running the step forward and you can see they are printing and we can see also all the code that they are using so how cool is this you can find the in the examples okay in here you can find um let me find it uh, da, 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 uh, spine codot okay in this runtime you can find here the what uh, each example what are made of okay what they are trying to teach you so yes let's take a look at this uh, kind of things just take a look and enjoy your time with the spine with the signals you can see that here they are using signals and a lot a lot of cool things like for example let's see this scene okay as you can see, they can see the, they can numerate all the, yeah, all the data, all the skin data, and it's very cool. I think I need to see this slowly and with time because I want to learn the right way. And there is one that I want to show you because it's like animation player you can see how cool is this so <laughs> yeah it's amazing that you can see this in the spine very fluid very amazing how is how is making and this is my uh, a very very good good news for me because i was doing spine but with frame by frame and now we can implement with no problems with or spine nodes and we can learn how to do it okay First, I need to learn, and when I learn how to do it very well implemented, I will make tutorials for you guys. Mm. 
I'm not an expert. I'm totally a noob. This is what, this is why this we call GD noob. Okay, <laughs> so don't take me like I'm an expert because it's totally the opposite. Okay, but at least if I can save you some time, so it's okay. It's uh, my, it's my pleasure. So don't forget to subscribe if you feel that this was uh, worth for you because I'm going to upload more things from Godot, from Spine, from maybe Krita, a lot of uh, development stuff that I'm sure that you could find useful. Okay, so see you in the next episode and I hope I save you time to see the examples in Spine in Godot. Okay, thank you guys. See you.